What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another College Football 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we got early reveals for the Ultimate Alumni promo, which will be dropping later this afternoon. We got teasers for the Legends coming this Sunday, and a lot of other things to go over in this video. We're going to start with an update that, that that's not really an update, and that's going to be solo battles. They did acknowledge it on the Good Morning Football Show or College Football Roundup, whatever it's called, uh, that solo battles, they're still working on it. It's gated for the moment hopefully it'll be back soon but we don't know when also today is friday which means at 1 30 p.m eastern time when this content's gonna go live the ultimate alumni content uh the gauntlet game mode should go live again and it will be live from thursday i'm sorry friday which is today all the way up until monday at 1 30 p.m eastern time remember to enter the gauntlet you're either going to need a 50 000 coins or a gauntlet entry token to get a gauntlet entry token you got to play through the champs game mode and get 16 wins i'm a 11 and 2 right now so we're we got to win five of our next seven games at minimum here to get into the the gauntlet but it's a really good payout this is really only if you're really good at the game you're highly competitive it's not going to be easy if you're not so much of a competitive player i would still play through champs i think the payouts uh and the rewards are pretty good if you can at least get to 10 wins if you can't win more than 50 percent of your games or at least 50 percent of your games it's probably not going to be worth it whether you're playing champs or gauntlet this weekend one for Formation and play that you will definitely see a few times is going to be Wildcat. It's running all over the place right now, especially with Judkins, who is the best running back in the game. It might be the best card in the game. We're going to take a moment in this video to give a shout out to my fellow Eagle fan, Bobby V. I'm going to link this video down below in the comment section as a pinned comment. I highly encourage you to go watch it and give him a follow or a subscription over there on YouTube as well. He found and put out a defense that will 100% shut down this Wildcat meta that's going on right now. Uh, and here's some proof that happened with me this morning. All right, I got to get my timing down, but... Now, before we go over the cards that are coming out later this afternoon, I want to take a guess on what we can expect for these Ultimate Alumni sets because they didn't show them on the College Football Rundown show this morning. Oddly enough, the 85 overall Ultimate Alumni set is completely gone. Unless I'm bugging, this was a set that was here and it required four 83 overall Ultimate Alumni players. It's totally gone now. Uh, now we're going up to 86 overall champions and 87 overall LTDs. What I think they're gonna do is what they did in the In Case You Missed It promo. You can see here the champion set is an 85 plus overall set and it requires four 83 specifically from in case you missed it and then 182 so i do think that the ultimate alumni is going to follow suit with 483s and 182 overall you're going to put those into a set and then in return you're going to get an 85 plus ultimate alumni player so that means if you complete that set you're going to either get one of the 285 overall cards that came out yesterday or one of the 286 overalls that come out today i don't think ltds will have an opportunity to come out of that pack set i could be 100 percent wrong I don't know that for sure, um, but if you're looking to pre-build anything for today, you're probably going to need a bunch of 83 overall Ultimate Alumni and at least 182 overall. That's my guess. We don't know that for fact, but that's my guess on it. Uh, also, don't forget with this promo, eventually you're going to be able to get a free 85 overall Malik Neighbors. We'll cover all of this when it's in game later this afternoon, but there will be more solo challenges to play to get another token to upgrade him, and eventually you will get him to an 85 overall. I'm not going to break down these 83 overall but these are some of the new cards that are dropping today there's also a handful of 80s 81s and 82s coming out uh, but i'm really just going to focus on the 83s and then the champions here even these cards aren't really great hopefully maybe they represent one of your favorite college teams so we got joshua farmer defensive tackle at 83 overall we have shamar turner a defensive tackle also at an 83 overall if i just said 85 accidentally my bad the third card is going to be left guard trevor mayberry i know there's not a lot of really good offensive linemen in the game right now despite aside from the run block which is terrible at 78 uh 83 strength 82 awareness 82 pass block and that nasty 78 run block uh this is a decent card for pass protection of course depending on price we'll see what happens with the price and then the fourth one is going to be riley leonard a quarterback uh for notre dame here at 78 speed 83 short throw, 82 mid, 81 deep, and 82 throw power. Super budget quarterback, you know, just use Will Howard out there. He's the best option because he's a free option. Outside.
side of this guy who's coming out today, Lamar Jackson, undoubtedly going to be the best quarterback in the game. Uh, 86 speed, 85 throw power. The accuracies are good money. 85 short, 84 mid, 83 deep. He might miss a few deep throws with that 83 deep accuracy, but the 85 throw power means he's going to get the football down the field. So that's a good thing. Throw under pressure, throw in the run, both at 85s, play action at 83. This is going to be QB number one. I will absolutely be going after and getting this card. As far as price goes, I think somewhere around between like six and 700,000 coins. We saw with the In Case You Missed It's that came out a couple days ago, specifically Derwin and Minka uh, Fitzpatrick. They were really expensive. They crashed down in price after the announcement of Lamar Jackson. And I'm not sure why, because we're only getting four top tier cards today and none of them are going to be free safety or strong safety. So I do think that you see those cards actually start to go back up in price. I don't know if people are expecting us to get a ton of ultimate alumni cards today. Uh, that just wasn't going to happen. I think we're going to see the same trend every Friday. Two champions, two LTDs. The second champion, this one on defense is going to be right in Miles Garrett, the Texas A&M version of him. 82 speed, 80 block shed, 86 finesse move, 79 power move, really high strength play rec and tackle. I'm a big fan of strength on the defensive line, so I think we're going to give this card a try, and of course, he will be getting that bunny rabbit ability, which I think it's called quick jump, quick start. I can't remember off the top of my head. Probably one of the better abilities on defense in the game right now. I mainly been focusing my defensive AP on the secondary, because I feel like my players just don't react to the pass enough, whether in their man or zone coverage, so I've been kind of catering towards that, but if you're looking for a pass rusher and a pass rush ability, that's going to be the good combination for Miles Garrett. Now we are getting two 87 overall LTDs. The first one is going to be Christian McCaffrey. I'm not mad at the card, but Judkins is lights out better. So if this card ends up being very expensive, it's just not going to be worth it. 87 speed, really good, but Judkins is faster. 79 catch, I said this on last night's reveal video, uh, is really low for a CMC card. I'm not a fan of that one. Great acceleration, change of direction, break tackle. I think change of direction is really important because the left stick movement in this game is back compared to prior Madden titles. Uh, good agility and carry, trucking, didn't expect it to be very high on a CMC item. Again, really good card, but when it comes down to the price, being that this is an LTD, if you see that Judkins is cheaper, go out and buy Judkins. He's going to be much better, and I think he's going to hold a, a better value for the long term. The second LTD is going to be on the defensive side. We got Roquan Smith. Could be one of the new best users in the game. Six foot one, 85 speed, 87 hit power, 85 block shed, 86 strength, 87 tackle. He should be great against the run, whether user controlled or letting the AI uh, cover him. My only kind of like, eh, is that 81 zone. I wish it was a little bit higher. If you're going to strictly user him, he should be fine. If you're going to rely on the uh, quarterback or the computer to play a little bit of zone coverage with him, might be a problem there. Overall, a good card. I will wait and see what the price looks like before it's one that says like you got to get it or not because if he's closer to a million than he is 500k i would stay away from it good card but probably not going to be worth the price so those are the four cards plus the 83s of course but those are the four high-end top tier cards that are coming out today at 1 30 p.m eastern time and don't forget on sundays sunday morning 10 30 a.m eastern time we got three legends dropping more than likely going to be one on offense one on defense both set cards i'm guessing we're going to go up to 86 overalls for those and then 187 overall ltd leave your guesses on these players down below in the comment section and sunday morning when they drop of course we'll have a video covering that and everything you need to know and these will be confirmed released on twitter i think 8 p.m eastern time on saturday nights is when they're going to do that uh so when they reveal those if i'm around and able to do a video we'll probably do a quick youtube short on it but that's everything you need to know that's going on right now and the content that's dropping later today thank you guys for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace